Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because every single day we are putting out content which is designed to help you to grow and scale your business in whichever sport you are. At this point, we've got success coaches who are currently putting out content in basketball, swimming, sports performance, and soccer. And what they're doing is they're putting out content for you to help you to grow, scale, and take your business to the next level, right? So make sure you subscribe. And also, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business, then there's two ways you can do that as well. First way is you can reach out to me via email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com or in the Calendly link in the description of this video, you can click on it and you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your business to the next level, right? So let's get straight into today's video. Today, I want to talk about how to market and how to promote your soccer coaching business within your local area. Now, something we do at our company is we help coaches to grow and scale their business using uh, marketing techniques, right? Now, I speak to coaches every single day in multiple sports. Now, something I always get asked is, Co uh, Leo, I'm struggling to get new clients. I'm struggling to grow my messaging. I'm struggling to, to, to get a stronger branding for my, for my coaching business, right? I get a lot of promoting and, and marketing questions from coaches who reach out to me or I speak to over, over Zoom. So what I want to do today is I want to break down three very simple ways that you can market and promote your, your soccer coaching business to grow, scale and get more eyeballs on what you're doing. Okay, Because the more people that know what, who you are, what you do, what you're about, the more likelihood that they're going to join your program and you're going to grow your clientele. Okay, so these three ways can be used not just if you have a, a soccer coaching business, but if you have a sports training business in general. Okay, so if you're in basketball, if you're in baseball, uh, if you're in, in football, if you're in soccer, okay, whichever sport you're in, Right, you can use these three ways that I'm about to share with you today to grow your business and take it to the next level. All right, so the first way to market and promote is via social media. All right, setting up social media channels. So this could be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, I class YouTube as well as social media. Uh, YouTube, right, setting up these platforms where you can put out your message and you can put out content on a regular basis and however much you want, right? If you set up a Facebook or Instagram account, ultimately you can promote your business as much as you want. You can put out content as much as you want. And in today's day and age, the truth is most parents are on one of the social media platforms. If it's not Facebook, they're on Instagram. If it's not Instagram, they're on Twitter. If it's not Twitter, then they'll consume content via YouTube, right? So as a business owner, it's really important that you are on one of these um, social media platforms, okay? Now, using the social these social media platforms is the most important thing and knowing how to use it. So within our program, we teach coaches how to use these platforms to grow their message, grow, grow their branding, and ultimately okay, get new prospects and clients to apply to work for their, to work with them. Okay? But what I want to encourage you to do is if you set up a Facebook page, for example, a business page, get really good at that one business page. Because once you get good at that one business page, then ultimately what will happen is once you've mastered that, then you can set up an Instagram page. Once you master Instagram, you can move on to Twitter. Right? Each platform is very different and each platform requires 
you to market and promote yourself in a different way. Okay. If you're using TikTok, it's obviously more video. If you're using Instagram, it might be video and images. If you're using Facebook, right, there's different ways that, that viewers engage with content via Facebook. Okay. Now, if you do use social media, a few things I want you to take into account to grow your, to grow your, your audience and to grow your messaging on them. Right, so first of all is I want you to share results of clients that you're currently working with. Okay, if you're only working with one client, then show the journey that client is taking within your company. Right, where did they start? How were they when they first started? How are they now, three months, four months, five months later with your, with your training? Okay. Share testimonials. This could be written testimonials or this could be video testimonials, right? Of parents and players that you're currently working with. Okay, so that way any parent that come across your, your Facebook page, they can see the testimonials and it gives you more credibility because it shows other parents that, right, someone is already working with this coach and they've already got great results. And the third way is create content related to a problem specific thing that players within your sport are suffering with. Okay, so if you're in soccer, for example, something that's huge is confidence. So confidence in soccer players is massive. And if you don't have confidence, then you can't ultimately perform to your full potential. So your content could be designed around videos specific to building confidence on and off the pitch, right? Or on and off the field, okay? So your content has to be specific to problems that your, your, your clients or parents are facing with their athletes. Something I don't want you to, to use these social media platforms to do, and this is something coaches do use it at for, is to promote yourself, to talk about last week's match or game, okay, talk about things that are not related to your clients and to results, okay, everything needs to be specific to problems that players, parents are having within the sport, sharing testimonials of parents and players that you've currently worked with and showing a journey that clients are taking when they join and when they ultimately end up growing within your business okay so social media is a great way to market and promote and the great thing about it it's free at the moment it's free right you can create a facebook and instagram page for free and just use it to to promote your business however much you want really okay so the second one is creating a referral program so what i mean by referral program is if, for example, you have one uh, client at the moment that you're working with, it might be a one-to-one -one or a one-on-one -on -one, uh, client, reaching out to that, that client at the end of the month, getting on a 15 to 20 minute call with them, talking about their progression within your business, so how their child has progressed since they started and where you see them now, showing them their strengths, talking about areas of improvement going into the next month, and also talking about how you're looking to grow and to, well, to grow the program with like-minded players, just like the one you're working with, okay? And ultimately, what you wanna do is you wanna set up a system where if a parent that who, who is currently part of your training business refers a like-minded client to you or a like-minded parent to you and that parent uh, signs up ultimately mrs jones who has referred that parent to you will get next month's training for free or you could set it up where there's a discount in place okay personally i like to offer a 50 percent discount if a parent refers someone into my program but you can set it up however you, however you want. You can do 15% off, you can do 20% off, 
right? It's completely up to you. But what we want to do is at the end of each month, we want to go to parents that we're currently working with. We want to talk about the progression their child is having with you. And we want to talk about the referral program in that if they refer another parent who signs up and registers into the, the academy, then their child will get the next month completely free or they get a discount of the next month's uh, training subscription. Okay. Now, if you don't have any clients, then you can do this as well, where you can offer a discount if if they, they join. Okay, so if you speak to enough parents and you can say to them, right, we're having a, an, a promotion that the first five uh, clients, well, the first five parents to, to register and sign up with to train with me will get 50% off a three month commitment. Okay, or, or they get the first month free and the other two are paid. Right, so one month out of the free, uh, free of charge. Okay, so there's a lot of ways you can set this up. Right, I would, you need, if I was to talk about every way that we have, okay, this video will go on for about two to three hours. Okay, but if you need more help with this, again, get in contact with me. In the description, there's two ways you can do that, right? Calendly set up a free 15 to 20 minute call. I can show you different ways you can set up a referral uh, program within your business or just send me a direct uh, email to my email and I can uh, show you some, I can respond with some some different strategies that you can implement to, to, grow, your, to grow your clientele and to set up a good referral system that brings in two, three, four, five, six, new clients every single month into your business. Right, the third way is setting up a free clinic. So what I did when I first started my, my coaching business was I started with six clients, right? So I started with group training and I, I was working with six clients at the time. What I did was every month I ran a free clinic. Okay, so I'm in soccer. What I did is every month I changed the clinic. One, it was focused on striking. The next one was focused on defending. The other one was uh, more skill specific. And what I did is I went to, cl to my current clients and I offered them a discount off the upcoming clinic. So I said to them, if you guys bring a friend who signs up to this clinic, that we're going to be running next month, then ultimately you guys get to go to the clinic for free and your friend will, will, will pay for that clinic. So if your friend pays for the clinic, you guys get to attend for free. And ultimately what happened is, is the first clinic I started off with eight. So from the six clients that I had that I reached out to, they bought two friends. So that first clinic I had eight. What I did is those two new players, I then got on a phone call with them and I sold them into my week to week training. So I started off with six, I grew to eight and then I ran another clinic the following month and I did the same thing. At the end of the month, I reached out to the eight parents again and I said to them, right, we're running, we're looking to run a striking clinic or I can't remember, a skills clinic next month. Right, if you guys bring a friend, you guys get to go to that clinic for free. And from that eight, I managed to get two more and that grew to 10. And I kept doing that once a month and to the point where I had over 20 players uh, within my group program. Okay, And if you do that within your business, you can grow your clientele per month by two, three, four, five, six extra new clients that you're bringing in into your ecosystem okay and it's very easy to do all you need is to you need it you need to be consistent and you need a you need to have a set day set time that you're running these clinics okay this is again something that we can help you with we've been doing this with coaches since 2017 when we started the business right We've been helping coaches to set up these camps and clinics that bring in new players 
and that then we can sell them on into our long-term training program okay now if you might be asking if there's a client that comes to your clinic they register to the clinic but they can't commit to your long-term training then what you can do is you can set up a clinic subscription with them where they subscribe to, to attend your clinics once a month and that's another way we can show you to do that right setting up a, a, a subscription model where those clients those parents are bringing their child once a month just to your clinics but that is only going to work if you stay very consistent with running clinics every single month right you're not going to have you're not going to have parents sign up to your to your, to your clinic subscription and then you're not running clinics every month right it just doesn't make sense okay so that way before you do that you need to make sure that you have the first three four five clinics set up in place with dates times ready in place so that parents know that right in january we're gonna we're gonna have a shooting clinic in february we're gonna have a, a passing clinic in march we're gonna have a sh um a skills clinic in April there's going to be a goalkeeping clinic right every single month there's a new clinic and it gives parents something to look forward to and also okay you can set up a subscription where they're paying just to attend your clinic and that way if a parent isn't as committed to your long-term training they can come to your program once a month and you haven't lost them out on on becoming a client okay so hopefully this video has helped if you want to reach out to me to to learn more about what we do at our company or if you want more help again visit the description of this video there's a couple of ways that you can get in contact with me i can show you in in more detail over a, a zoom call about these three things i've shared today and also what i want you to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel right as i mentioned at the beginning we've got success coaches within our program who are pumping out content every single day for you guys to help you uh, overcome any any problems struggles obstacles that you're facing within your basketball uh, swimming sports performance business okay so make sure you subscribe to stay up to date at this point we've got content going out on a daily basis right monday to sunday there's going to be videos going out specific to problems that coaching coaches are facing with their business right so thank you for watching again make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with what we do hey thank you and i'll see you on the next video